Good morning, class. So happy to see you. Stand up, let's do our welcome song. Sing out really nice and loud so I can hear you. Are you ready? Oh, rise and shine and welcome to lap today. Rise and shine and welcome to lap today. Rise and shine and welcome to lap today. We're so glad you're here. Oh, rise and shine and welcome to lap today. Rise and shine and welcome to lap today. Rise and shine and welcome to lap today. We're so glad you're here. Oh my gosh, it has been so fun to learn about the different planets so far. Let's see, we've learned about Mercury, and last time, Venus, right? Our sun's a star, then Mercury, Venus, Earth. Okay, so yesterday, Venus, we did, hmm, we learned about so many things that, the, that Venus is like Earth, right? So Venus, do you remember that they're both about the same size? They're sister planets. Also, Venus has lots of clouds around it, right? But Earth has good clouds. Earth has water clouds. And what kind does Venus have? Ooh, acid clouds. Ooh, that would burn your skin. That would be a bummer to be on Venus with the acid clouds. Let's see, it's also made from rock and metal. And Earth is too. And do you remember though that Venus has tons of lava all around it? And can stuff live in lava? No, nothing can live. And so it would just be like crunchy, hard lava with nothing, no animals, no plants, nothing in there. And instead we have something covering a lot of our Earth, but what is it? It's not lava. Can everybody say water, water? And are there living things in water? Yes, yes, we have lots of life in water. All of our sea animals and lots of plants that are also in the water. So, awesome. We also know that it is the stinkiest planet, right? Ooh, yuck, we would not want to have to be on Venus, having it be smelly and gross all the time. Also, one other, odd thing about it is that Earth and Mercury both rotate this way, but Venus goes the opposite way. And it's a super slow turner too. It takes forever for it to rotate around. So that's, that's kind of cool. Now, can you guess what we're learning about today? Which one comes next in our planet song, in our solar system song? Can you sing it? Our sun's a star, then Mercury. We did that one. Venus did that one. Earth. Ah, oh, today's Earth, right? Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus. Neptune's the last one of the planets in our solar system. Okay, so the, the Mercury was the closest to the sun. Then Venus was second from the sun. So Earth is third from the sun. So that's kind of in a little better spot to be in, isn't it? I want you to look at this picture of Earth, okay? Look at it closely. What colors do you see on this picture of Earth? This is a picture of the actual Earth that they can see from space and the, the color that you most see on it is what? Can you tell? Sometimes there's clouds in the way. We're glad we have those clouds, but what color is most showing up on Earth? Did you guys see blue? Blue, and blue means water. So do you think that there's more water or more land on Earth? Water, water, which is kind of funny because we live on land and we're mostly on land. It's not 
as often that we're on water. So it doesn't feel like there's so much more water, but there really is. It's so much more water than land. And what are those large bodies of water called? Can everybody say oceans? Oceans. So we have a bunch of different oceans on our planet Earth, and there's also bodies of land. There's like areas of land, and those have a big name too. Anybody know that name? It's actually continents. So there are seven continents on the planet Earth, and we live on North America. Can everybody say North America? North America. I'm going to play a song for you that is called the Continent Song. And I want you to listen to all the names of all the continents and see if you can hear the one that says North America. When they say North America, then touch your head. Okay? Are you ready? The continents are North America, South America, Antarctica, Africa, Europe, Asia, Australia, and now the seas. Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean. Some people specify Arctic and Antarctic, others disagree. Now we have learned the continents and seas. Oh, I love that song. Did you know that in a way the earth is like a loaf of bread? Huh. Can you think about it? It's kind of a riddle. The thing is, you know how a loaf of bread, it gets baked? And then there's this brown crust on it, all the way around it. You can kind of peel that brown crust off and eat it separate if you want to. Well, there's a crust on the earth too. It's the thin layer going all around the outside of the earth. It's what we walk on. Everybody jump up and down right now. Jump, 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 jump. You're jumping on the earth's crust. Anywhere that you walk or drive in the car, you're on the crust. That's the part of the earth that you're on. If you can dig down into the crust and it goes down far to us, but compared to how far it is to go down to the center of the earth, it's just a smidge all the way around, just hardly a little layer. So everybody say the crust. The crust. The crust is on the outside, so it's kind of like a loaf of bread crust on the earth, right? The earth's crust is also kind of like a puzzle because the parts of the crust, it's not just solid, one big piece. It's actually broken into little puzzle pieces that get locked together. And so those little puzzle pieces, are part of the crust. It's all broken into little pieces that fit together. Did you know that the earth is also kind of like an apple? It's kind of like an apple because it has a core and an apple has a core. So the earth is kind of like an apple too. This one's interesting too. I want you to look at a picture of a grilled cheese sandwich. How is the earth like this grilled cheese sandwich? Do you see the gooey, gooey melted cheese inside? Well, on the outside is the crust. Remember the crust? Everybody stomp your foot on the crust right now. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Okay, so that's the, there's a crust on our grilled cheese sandwich, right? But below the crust, if I went down below this crust that I'm stomping on right now, way down inside of there, it would be melted, melted rock and metal. It would be like that grilled cheese, the melted cheese. So below, everybody say below the crust, below the crust 
is melted rock. Melted rock. So wait, if I were to dig, 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 dig down far miles down, then I would come to hot melted rock. Okay, so in the very center of the earth is the core. And if you think about a hard boiled egg, have you ever had the person who takes care of you boil an egg in, a, in water on the, on the stove? Once it gets hard, then you tap, tap, tap the, the, the egg shell and you peel the egg shell off and what do you have inside? You have this layer of the white, right? And so that is kind of like the Earth's mantle. So the gooey, gooey melted rock, that's the mantle. Can everybody say mantle? Mantle. So there's the hard shell of your egg, that's the crust. You peel back that and then you come to the soft white part and that is, everybody say, the mantle, the mantle. And then you get in farther and there's that hard yolk, right? Everybody say, the core, the core. So it kind of looks like that. There's an inner core and an outer core, but those are the layers. So our layers are, everybody say, the crust on the outside, the crust on the outside, then you have down, soft, gooey, say mantle. The mantle's next, so crust, then mantle. That's the, the melted rock. And then you have your outer core, the outer core of the inside, and that's, that's more solid. And then your inner core, and that's really hard. So four layers in our earth. If you go inside. Very cool. Okay, well today, because we're learning about the inside of the earth, what does inside start with? In. Inside. Did you hear that? I? Everybody say I. I. So our new sound is an I. Okay, so Okay, so what are some other things that start with I besides inside? Can you say Indian? Can you say Igloo? Internet. Ill. That means that you're feeling sick. Sick. Ill. Ill starts with I at the beginning. Awesome. Let's do our golden sounds with all of the things that we have so far. Are you ready? Higgledy, piggledy, bumblebee. Can you say the sound with me? I, 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 I. Like inside. Higgledy, piggledy, bumblebee. Can you say the sound with me? Are you doing it with your lips and with your finger? P, 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 p. Like planet. Higgledy, piggledy, bumblebee. Can you say the word with me? A, 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 A. There is a dog. Higgledy, piggledy, bumblebee. Can you say the sound with me? Woof, 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 woof. Like wind or world. Higgledy, piggledy, bumblebee. Can you say the sound with me? Ah, 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 ah. Like apple. Higgledy, piggledy, bumblebee. Can you say the sound with me? T, 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 like telescope. Higgledy, piggledy, bumblebee.
Can you say the sound with me? O, 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 like lemon or lime. Piggledy, piggledy, bumblebee. Can you say the sound with me? Mm, 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 like moon or marshmallow. Piggledy, piggledy, bumblebee. Can you say the sound with me? Like star. Higgledy, piggledy. Oh, there we are. Back to the beginning. Okay, okay. I have some objects. I want you to look at them and see if you can tell me what they start with. Are you ready? What is this one? Can everybody say dinosaur? Dinosaur. What does dinosaur start with? D, d, dinosaur. That starts with a d sound. Good. What about this one? <gasps> penguin. Penguin. What does penguin start with? Penguin. Penguin. Did you say p? P is right. Okay. Everybody say monkey. Monkey. What does monkey start with? <gasps> Some of you said it. Mmm. Monkey, good job. What about this one? <gasps> clock, clock. What does it start with? Ooh. Clock, clock, k, k. If you got that one, that's awesome. We haven't done that one yet. Or same with d dinosaur, huh? K, clock. Ooh, what about this lotion? Lotion, what does it start with? Lotion, lotion, oh, oh, good. Ooh, what about this one? Princess, 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 p, p is right, good job. Okay, we are ready to do just a little bit of blending. So I need you to really be ready to slide and lock them together and say the sounds out loud. That helps to lock them and slide them and lock them together. So this first one is, this is somebody's name. This is actually my neighbor's name. Are you ready? This is, what's that first sound? Ah, good. What's the next one? Oh, oh. Hey, let's go and slide now. Take your finger and air slide. Are you ready? Ow. Faster. Ow. Faster. Ow. Ow. Did anyone get it? What's the word? Everybody say ow. Ow. That's his name. Ow, good. What about this one? This one, we haven't done a lot of this sound. Do you remember what it is? Good, woof, woof. And then, this one, what's this? Ah, we're getting awesome at ah. Ready? Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. Wow. Ah. Ah. Kind of like a baby. Wow, wow. But it's not a real word, right? Wow. Okay. Now let's do one word that we lock together that's a little bit longer. This has a one that we learned just a couple days ago that sound. So here we go. What's this one? Okay, what's that first sound? That's right. And then if we put our 
our word in front of it. What's our word? Everybody say, if it's all by itself, A. A. So here we go. We say, she is a pal. Pal. She is a pal. You are doing so great. Good job. Okay, let's go ahead and do our numbers. Ready? See if you can say them before I say them. Ready? Five. Did you get it? Six. One. You beat me, I bet. Seven. Did you remember that one? That's our newest one. Two, good. Four, I can't hear you. Three, and back to five. Good job, okay. We are gonna do our self-control song before we go. We haven't done it for so many days. Are you ready? Self-control. You gotta use a little self-control. You are the boss of what you do and say. Try self-control today. When I turn on the TV, cause I wanna be watching cartoons, and there's nothing but a golf show. Those bad boobs. Self-control. You gotta use a little self-control. You are the boss of what you do and say. Try self-control today when I sit down to dinner and a pizza would make me feel glad but my plate is full of eggplant I get so mad at my mom self-control you gotta use a little self-control you are the boss of what you do and say try self-control today when I get done with my puzzle and little brother trips over his shoes and he falls right in the middle, that's when I lose my temper. You gotta use a little self-control. You are the boss of what you do and say. Try self-control today. You gotta use a little self-control. You are the boss of what you do and say. Try self-control today. Self-control. You gotta use a little self-control. You are the boss of what you do and say. Try self-control today. Okay, so good today, you guys. Don't forget to practice your sounds once or twice today. And you're going to have a if, if writing page and just do your best. It's okay if it's not perfect. We trace it and then we trace it and trace it, trace, 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 and then we try it all by ourselves. Try it, try it, try it, try it, try it, try it, and then we do our capital too. So we have our writing page. We also have a letter sound page for it, it, and then we have this cool page that you can color that talks about like the different things inside the earth, what it looks like, the layers of the earth. What are they again, guys? What's on the outside? Everybody say crust, crust. What's the melty part underneath that? Oh, I think I heard somebody say it, say mantle, mantle. And inside in the middle, everybody say core, core. Awesome. Then we also have an earth page for coloring for our planet book. So have a super great rest of your day. Everybody say, I work hard. I work hard. I am awesome.
I am awesome. See you next time.